Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarium Up. This is going to be a totally different video, okay? This is a, a video request by Tori, and she asked me to show how I store my decks and how my like reading room looks like. So most of you are aware that I live in a socialist block in Poland, and um, my bedroom <laughs> is my uh, living room. I mean, not living room, but like my working room okay i do not have a lot of space in my place and i do not have a lot of space for my decks and i constantly keep getting decks for reviews this has just arrived and this is a very special something this is masha's deck called tarot mare and masha kulenovic um she has created a tough deck or my, yeah, like a deck, a new take on a top deck. So most of decks, as we know, are based on Rider Waite Smith. Her deck is based on top. I'm going to show it, you know, on my channel soon. But back to to the subject of this video, I do not have a lot of space. Okay, uh, what you can see here is um, where I store most of the decks that I love and use. There's another shelf uh, right here that I also covered and I have my decks here as well. So I'm going to show you um, what I did. So this one, I do cover it because it's sometimes too much when all of them just like <laughs> look at me, you know, <laughs> it's I, I yeah, I, it's kind of feels messy and it's a lot of energy. I'm very like sensitive to whatever is happen happening around me and I need calm because my mind is, you know, racing 700 kilometers an hour and I'm constantly like finding new things and I'm interested by stuff. So too much impulse or too much input from outside, that's actually quite tiring for me. And uh, so I bought these, um, you know, like not wide shelves for CDs in Ikea and I just put four of them together and they cool because they not deep. So, you know, you can just put one row of decks and there's not too much space that stands out like on the reading shelves. And uh, here I store uh, most of the decks that I love using, you know, it goes back to the bottom and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I have here, okay? So as you can see, I just put if I'm like uh, feeling happy and you know I feel like doing something more, um, I put them size wise, I put them color wise, I try to do the rainbow, but at some point, you know, I just give up and when I use them, I just put them as they go back. This is just the Painted Runes book for now. I just stuck it in because I was doing a review of Sophie's decks. And as you can see here, um, like decks that I use often, that I love using, that are special to me. And that does vary, you know, it varies. Uh, that's Letty's Oracle, Inner Queen Oracle. And um, it varies, of course. There's all my Carol Herzer's decks and uh, soul cards. And there's some little cute decks. Um, Bakara's deck. So a lot of a lot of decks and you know I love decks. Oh this is Melissa's cool deck. I love decks. Oh future answer star up have to pull it out. There's so many amazing decks, you know, that have been printed right now. Uh, and oh, I have to do also the review of uh, Ocean Dry Tarot by Colleen because he put his deck, uh, it's available for sale right now, so I could get onto it. Um, there's some cool decks. It's a lot of decks, right? But it's my love. I love these. I love art. I love tarot. I love art on tarot. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just... A lot of different decks you can make the you know the length of the shelves as you wish so you can put the bigger decks uh, in here as well so this is one of the things that i would do and then the next thing here when i record you know i have decks that i use like for reading so i've got the big eyes here i've got decks that i used um do reviews of i have some 
like books that I use for my astrology readings, like ephemeris, you know, this is this book is like falling apart now, but I'm using it ongoing. Here is my little recording studio, but also, you know, my altars, there's another altar. I love putting things and that are meaningful, meaningful to me right now if I'm working on something, if I have an issue with something. Like you can see that now base chakra is on top here and some inspiration that's going on. So I just grab, you know, all those little things that are interesting to me or that are meaningful to the subject that I'm working with. And I just ritualize it. It's a little bit, I don't know, makes me feel good about it. Um, so... Uh, here I also had to, I don't have space anymore, so I put some books that I'm using uh, for uh, for readings as well. And there's another um, cupboard. So this one is like a bookshelf and it's my best friend, uh, Ama, there's Black Madonna. Yeah, this gorgeous um, original artwork from Hetien. And there is a star one. I exchange it, you know, whenever I feel more like pentacles or earthiness, I take this one. I have these companion books uh, in there. And then I have also a lot of cool decks uh, here. I use these decks. I love them too. And um, there is a correspondence course for the Bushflower Essences from Australia Times. And here are some other books and decks. And also because I recently got into perfumes and oh, this is my uh, set of perfumes. That, you know, I just started getting some um, perfumes Here for myself. Some of my wands that I, you know, I used to make wands. They beautiful. I love them. I mean, beautiful to me, of course. I don't. It's not everybody's kick, but this is my Mary Magdalene wand with olivine. And like this little red stone I found and this like dove bones. I used to do this shamanic style ones. This is like a citrine with phantoms inside and little fluoride. And there's like gorgeous amber. And this was I was wearing in my wedding. So this is Orasoma with a little um, pine cone from Croatia. And this beautiful seraphinite and moldavite and aquamarine and this one of my first ones it's like labradorite um you know i love this and how cool is this um face on the petrified wood ah oh, it's owl it's artemis it's i love it and maybe hell it's a really amazing piece of driftwood i mean not driftwood sorry petrified wood so this is another thing and there is one more drawer here where I also keep uh, some decks. These ones are mostly the ones that I'm not using very often or that I like use from time to time. So um, yeah, this also keeps shifting. I pull things out and back in, but this is one of those like I can call it forgotten draw. <laughs> uh, so this is a short one. I hope it was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I'd love to see how you store your decks. Um, I would I love sometimes looking at your beautiful spaces, you know, those of you who have homes and beautiful uh, things to look out uh, outside of the window when you look out. So please share. I would love to see it. And um, yeah, just have fun.